In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do cross-platform retargeting for your business. I'm going to show you everything step by step. So without further ado, let's just dive right into it. All right, so we're inside of my computer right now, and let's begin with the concept of the retargeting first. So basically what happens is that you have a prospect who comes to your website. Maybe they get to your website from an ad, for example. They visit your site, they, then they leave the website because something pops up, and then they start to see ads from you over and over again, and you want to bring them back to your funnel or to your website. So this is the concept of retargeting, and I'm sure you've experienced it a ton of times yourself. For example, you go to amazon.com, you check on a specific product, and then you start to see that product all over the web. And that is retargeting. And we can utilize a ton of different ads platform to appear cross platform with our retargeting campaigns, we can retarget our potential customers on like Meta or Facebook and Instagram or the Google Display Network or on YouTube or on LinkedIn or on TikTok, pretty much everywhere. And we do this because we don't want any leads to kind of fall through the cracks. If they go to the website and then leave our website, even though they're a great fit, maybe something else showed up. So we want to remind them of our services. And retargeting is something that you should definitely do for your own consulting or service-based business like a social media marketing agency, also for your clients as well, if you help them with ads, because it's very cheap and super duper powerful. So the real cool thing about retargeting is that it's extremely cheap. We normally say like as, as a rule of thumb, the rule of thumb is that you pay $10 per 10,000 people that you have in your audience that you build up. I'm gonna talk more about that here in just a sec. And another really cool thing is regarding the platform. So you can use retargeting on pretty much all platforms out there like Meta or Google, LinkedIn and TikTok. However, I recommend that you focus on the main two ones first, Meta and Google that is. We do Facebook and Instagram ads combined with digital banner ads on the Google Display Network. Another great thing about retargeting is that it's like an automated follow-up system, right? Retargeting is like an automated follow-up system. If they just visit your website once, you will be able to retarget them over and over and over again. And that's why having a VSL or a video sales letter or a case study video or basically a funnel in your organic outreach is very powerful because if you reach out to somebody organically, you get them to your website with the link. And even if they don't become a leader book an appointment, you can still retarget them to get them back into your process or sales process. Also, what you do with retargeting is that you start to showcase your own service, basically that you practice what you preach. So when the prospects start to see you all over the web after they've reviewed your website just once, they will start to see the potential for using retargeting for their own business as well. They will also know that you're legit, again, that you practice what you preach. So when should you start to use retargeting? Well, I recommend that you start to use retargeting as soon as possible. Basically, after you get your first client and you get some positive cash flow coming into your business, then you should start to reinvest like $10 per day or $300 per month into a Google Display Network and a meta retargeting campaign. It will help you to get your second client and then your third client, fourth and fifth and so on and so forth uh, much faster. And it's also pretty much set and forget when you do retargeting. You can set it up once and then you can run it for months and months on that. Super powerful. So here's kind of the goal or the overall plan that you should keep in mind as you grow your social media marketing agency but this can be applied to any type of business. So the first thing that you wanna get in place for your business or your social media marketing agency is the SMA concept, your super niche marketing agency. What are you going to sell to who? That's the most important thing. That's like the ground base that you build your entire business on. Because if you don't have something to sell that people wanna buy, it doesn't matter if you have the best retargeting campaign in the world. You really need to have like a service or a product that people really want to buy and that are needed in the market. If you fix that, sales and marketing is going to be a lot easier. Then what you do once you have that in place is that you start with organic outreach and I have a ton of videos on this channel on how to do organic outreach. You get your first client, then you start to reinvest around like $10 per day or $300 per month into paid retargeting. You continue with organic advertising and paid retargeting until you have your first three to five clients. You get a proof of concept, meaning that you know what you're selling is actually needed in the market and you have a proof of concept of that because you have three to five clients who have actually paid you money for your services and they're happy with your service. As soon as you find that proof of concept and you have three to five clients, you have some positive cash flow coming in as well. That's when I recommend that you start to scale with that. If you reach 10K per month completely organically, then you can start like a referral program and start to do some more paid ads and take it to like 20, 30, 40, 50K or however far you wanna take your agency. So this is basically the overall goal. But for now, when we have the theory out of the way, now let's dig into the clear instructions on how to actually build a retargeting campaign. So let's start with Meta or Facebook and Instagram. So the first thing you should do is to sign up to the Facebook business manager at business facebook.com and you simply sign in with your personal Facebook account. Then what you do is that you create an ad account and you can name it like your domain or your business number one. And I also wanna mention here that I'm not going to go into exact details on all of these steps in this specific YouTube video. However, I am going to show you a lot of it, but at the end of the video, I'm also going to pinpoint you to a place where you can 
get like exact step-by-step -step video where you can get exact step-by-step -step instructions. Then you also need to create the Facebook page that you are going to use for your ads. And it can be very powerful to run the ad from a personal Facebook page if that's what you're using to reach out to people on Instagram and on LinkedIn and so forth. So what I mean by this is that instead of setting up a professional page that has your agency name or your business name in it with the logo and so on and so forth, you can set up a page for yourself, basically a personal professional page, because then people will continue to see the same name, basically your name on all platforms out there once you retarget people. Instagram page, so make sure that you connect your Instagram page as well. Again, I recommend using your personal account if that's what you're using for your business outreach. Then you're also going to set up a pixel, a meta pixel and install it on your website. Talk more about that here in just a second. Then you also need to verify your domain. You need to verify your business, add a payment method, set up a new event as well. So what I recommend to use is a CRM system called High Level. And you can create an all new automation for the Facebook conversion API. Again, more about this in just a sec. You connect it to your Facebook and prioritize your aggregated event measurements and add both the lead and booked appointment. So again, these are just notes. Then you also need to set up an audience for all your website visitors, Facebook engagement and Instagram engagement. And then finally, you're going to set up your retargeting campaign and spend five to ten dollars per day. So what I'm going to do now in the video is that I'm going to focus on the main details regarding how to set up the Facebook advertising campaign. However, if you want detailed step by step instructions on how to do all of these other steps, then what you can do is that you can go to my website, maxpearson.com and you go to week number three here or module number three. And on video number seven, I basically have a video called retargeting cross platform. And in this video, I walk you through step by step on all of the setup instructions that I just showed you. And you find a link to that free course below this video as well. But now what I want to show you is that if you go to business.facebook.com, this is going to be the place where you sign up to your Facebook business manager. And basically what you do here is that you click, just click on create account and you log in with your normal personal Facebook account. And if you haven't signed up with Facebook as of yet, then you basically do that first. Once you've signed up with the Facebook business manager, you will be able to reach the ads manager inside of here. And again, before you can access the ads manager, you need to complete all of these previous steps like setting up your ad account, your Facebook page, your Instagram page, the pixel, uh, verify the business, the domain, add the payment method, set up the new events, set up the audience and so on and so forth. And again, you find all of that information inside of the free SMMA course. However, in this YouTube video, I want to focus on like how to actually structure the actual retargeting campaign, how to set it up and also what to think about as you create these campaigns. So once you're inside the ads manager, it's very, very simple. You simply just click on create, you select leads as the actual campaign, you click on continue. And then normally what I call these campaigns is for example, warm retargeting conversions auto. Because when you do a retargeting campaign, you want to have a sales funnel in place that you can direct the traffic to. So for example, in my case, for my agency, this is what our VSL funnel or video sales letter funnel looks like. We have a landing page where we drive all of our traffic to and the visitor to this page can watch this introduction video first. Then they can click here and get your case study, put in their name, email, and then we redirect them to a video page. They can watch our case study where we basically walk through the potential customers and results, our system, how it works. From this page, they can then click through to actually book a call with us. They select the day and the time, and then we ask them specific questions about their business. Then we jump on a Zoom call with them and we do our sales process. Again, if you want to learn more about how to set up a VSL funnel and how to set up a website, how to set up a calendar, how to set up a funnel, all of that stuff, you find that inside of the free SMMA course. I even give away gift worth over $15,000 inside of the free SMMA course. You get a website, you get a funnel, you get everything. You can implement everything to your own CRM account with just one click. But that is out of the scope of this video. My main point here is that when we do a retargeting campaign and we do a conversion campaign, you want to be able to drive that traffic to a funnel. You want to convert the traffic into leads essentially, right? Once you've created the actual campaign, inside of the campaign, you will have an ad set. And it's under the ad set where you set up the actual conversion event that's going to happen. You select actual targeting, like what country or what state or what area you want to retarget people in. I recommend going nationwide when you do retargeting. You also select the gender and the age and so on and so forth. Here you can also select to do instant forms or website. I don't recommend to use the Facebook lead form, but I recommend using a BSL funnel instead as I just showed you. And for that, we're going to select website. For conversion event, you basically want to set up a event with the Facebook conversion APIs as it's called. And again, you find more 
more step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that inside the VS Make Core. You can select the daily budget here. I recommend doing like five to ten dollars per day. And here you can select the country where you want to retargeting. We only have our customers in the United States. So here you basically select the country where you want to retargeting, the age that you want to target, and the gender. I recommend keeping this as broad as possible. However, if you only have people in your market that are older, obviously you can adjust the age. I recommend keeping the placements for the Advantage Plus or the automatic placement. And then that's basically it for the ad set. You can also rename this ad set to, for example, V1 Warm Retargeting. And normally what I do is that I put the date into brackets as well. And this basically tells me that this is my version one of the Warm Retargeting and what data I actually created it. And then if you go into the ads, this is where you just create the ads. Pretty self-explanatory. You can select your Facebook page, your Instagram account, and here you can basically select the primary text and the headline and the description for your ad. So for example, this is the headline. This is the body copy text. And then here under destination, you can put the link to your VSL funnel like so. And then add media, you can select a video or an image. So let's say here, I'm going to select this ad here, for example, a video ad, I click on done. And here you can see kind of what the ad will look like on Facebook. So again, this is why I recommend as well that you utilize your page that has like your name in it in the beginning. Because if you're doing organic advertising, you're going to utilize your personal LinkedIn page, your personal Instagram page, your personal email. So when you do retargeting, it just makes sense that they see the same profile picture and the same name inside of the meta ads as well. And again, if you want special instructions on like what to write in here and what type of video ad to use and how to connect it to your funnel, again, you find all of that inside of the free SBMA course. But that is basically the theory behind the meta retargeting. Again, there's a lot of steps here that I've skipped and I've already mentioned it a thousand times of where you find the step-by-step -step instructions on how to solve these ones. But I'm sure you get the concept right now of retargeting and why it is so powerful. And I've also showed you exactly how to do the retargeting on Meta. And what I want to show you right now is how to do retargeting on the Google Display Network as well using AdRoll. So basically what you do with AdRoll, it's very simple. You simply just go to the website and you sign up for a new account. Then you install the pixel on your main website and on your funnel as well. And I give you a website and a funnel for free inside of the free SMA course. Then you also need to set up a payment method with AdRoll. You also need to design your actual ads. And you can either like hire a freelancer to design your ads from like Fiverr.com or you can utilize a tool to design them like creatopie.com. I'm going and I'm going to show you exactly where to find it here in just a sec. Then you basically just upload your ads into AdRoll, you launch your campaign, and then you basically have your AdRoll retargeting campaign set up and ready to go as well. So the first thing I want to show you right now is just to go to adroll.com, their website. And you can create your retargeting and campaigns by signing up directly to the to the Google Ads platform as well. And to do that, you simply go to ads.google.com. Right now, this page is in Swedish because I'm browsing from Sweden, but I just find it actually a lot easier and a lot more powerful to utilize AdRoll. I use AdRoll for myself and for my clients as well. And this is basically the website. So it's very straightforward. You simply just click on get started, use the pay as you go, and then you just basically go through the process. You put in your name, email, phone number, your website, so on and so forth, and you sign up. It's 100% free. It's only going to cost you once you actually start the campaign. Once you've signed up with AdRoll, the next thing you need to fix is to actually design your ads. And either you can utilize a service like Fiverr to find a freelancer to design your actual AdRoll ads. So for example, if you search for AdRoll ads, you will find a ton of different gigs that you can use to design your ad. To find a freelancer who can design your ads. So for example, if I go into this one, he's a top rated seller, five stars with over 336 orders. You can see here kind of what they will look like. And you will have to provide the designer with like what text you want to use in there and so on and so forth to tell them about your service so that they can create the kind of the feel that fits your market. So again, using Fiverr to design your first ads can be a great option. However, there is a tool that you can utilize yourself to very easily design your own ad. And that actually becomes cheaper in the long run if you're going to design a ton of different ads for yourself, but maybe for your clients as well. So this gig here, for example, the basic package is 1100 Swedish corners. So it's about like $110 just for one set. However, if you use a tool like Creatopie here, for example, then you can pay them $35 per month and then you can create as many designs as you want to essentially. And basically what you can do with this tool, it's very simple, is that you can create your own display ads and they have like a generator that is very simple to use. Let me show you exactly how it works. All right, so we're inside of my Create a Pie account right now. And as you can see here, they have a ton of different templates that you can choose from. And basically what you do is that you can click on create here in the top right corner. And if you use the $35 per month plan, basically what you get access to is to use this feature right here to create custom design sets. So I'm going to click on that one. I'm going to select all of the display options here and click on design. Then what you do is that you simply just choose 
one of the hundreds of templates right here. So for example, if I'm a consultant, I might use this set. And then you can see that it brings up all of the different sizes here that I need for AdRoll. And then what's really cool about this tool is that let's say I wanna change the headline right here to for example, $10 residential roofing leads or something like that. That's a bad headline, but I just made it as an example, right? If I'm helping residential roofers to generate leads, I could utilize something like that. But my main point here is that you can just change everything here in one place, and then it updates for all of the different options here. Obviously, you will have to make sure that it fits for all of the different sizes and so on and so forth, right? But you get the point. Also, what you can do that is really cool with this tool is that you can animate your ad. You can create HTML5 ads. So as you upload them to AdRoll, they will actually be animated so that they actually are interactive when they show up on the web. But in summary, Create a Pie is a great tool. I've been utilizing it for years and we're always designing the ads for our clients using Create a Pie and then we upload it to AdRoll. And again, if you want step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this in more detail than I went over in this specific video, you know where to find it in the free SMMA course on my website essentially. However, I don't recommend that you go directly to the retargeting video, but I recommend that you go through all of the videos in the exact order. You start with week one, then week two, then week three, week four, week five. And at the end of the week, five, if you've implemented everything and take action for 90 days, there's literally no reason why you shouldn't be able to start, run and grow your social media marketing agency to zero to at least $10,000 per month in 90 days or less. As you can see, we have a ton of reviews from Trustpilot and we have a ton of video testimonials as well. And the coolest thing is that we've only been running this course for close to 70 days right now. So a little bit more than two months. And we have over 5,000 people on the website every single day. And as you can see, we have a ton of video testimonials and over 114 reviews on Trustpilot with over 4.8 stars. And we're just getting started. So this stuff really, really works. So if you wanna find a course that is 100% free and that can definitely help you for sure to start a successful business and grow it to at least $10,000 per month in 90 days or less, this is the course that you should join. All right, but that's basically it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I hope to see you in the next video or in inside the free SMA course, the free community, and on the free weekly Q&A calls as well. Hope to see you there. Let's go.